Can you imagine what has happened in history right where you're standing? Maybe last week, a student can be getting lunch. Maybe last century, a policeman could be investigating a case. Maybe 200 years ago, a slave could be running for their life in the Underground Railroad. The Central Falls High School Appreciation Committee has came together for a common goal, to give everyone an idea about the great historic significance that Central Falls has to offer. It may be just a square mile, but there is so much more to the city. With the help of two Central Falls High School teachers, we have worked to make the block that encompasses the Central Falls High School, the Central Falls Housing Authority, and many other houses a historic district. We have written a letter to City Hall in hopes that they realize that our home is full of history and that we need to preserve it for centuries to come. Now please join us for the following presentation, the historic greatness that is our city. Pierce Park today is known for its baseball fields and river view, but do you know what happened there in the 1600s? In 1676 to be exact, the park that is used for recreational purposes was the site of an ambush during King Philip's War. King Philip's War, sometimes called the First Indian War, was an armed conflict between Native American inhabitants of present-day New England and English colonists with their Native American allies. The battle was one of the biggest defeats of the colonial troops during King Philip's War, with nearly all the soldiers being killed in the battle, including Captain Michael Pierce. He led 60 Plymouth colonial troops and 20 Wampanoag Christian Indians into what is known as Pierce Park today. They were in search of Narragansett Indians who had burned several Rhode Island towns and attacked Plymouth, Massachusetts during King Philip's War. Nine of the colonists who were among the dead were first taken prisoner, along with the 10th man who survived. These men were allegedly tortured to death by the Narragansett at a site in Cumberland, Rhode Island. What is history? Was the bombing of Japan history? Was the Great Depression history? Does this little square mile called Central Falls, as we know it now, have history? History is every single second something has existed before this instant. If you think about it, after you watch this video, this video will be history. Let's take a trip about 90 years in the past, right now where you're standing. On this day in history, March 17th, 1929, the first entry in the diary of a policeman was entered. Officer James A. Ryan started a collection of newspaper clippings that over the span of six years will increase to over a hundred stories about the very streets that you will use to go home today. One may ask, why does this matter? Central Falls has such a rich history and Officer Ryan exemplifies that fact. Can you believe that this notebook contains artifacts that someone's grandparents or even great grandparents read on the day of publication? The reason that this journal baffles me is that there was no clear intention for the creation of this collection. Even more so that at the end of the book is a list of names and addresses of houses that someone lives in today. I have come to the conclusion that these stories of robbery, assault, and even murder were all crimes that Officer Ryan had worked on during his time as an officer. In many of these stories, Ryan's name was mentioned under the Department of Investigation or something along those lines. This list of names, however, is harder to decipher. I would undertake the impression that these are officers that he worked with because why else would he have a person's name in a policeman's diary of police work? How incredible is it that even though there aren't many historical places in Central Falls, history is still blooming in the streets. This is why the block that encompasses Central Falls High School, the Central Falls Housing Authority, and many other houses should be a historic district to preserve and put on display the interesting historical and significant events that it is and are happening now. The Underground Railroad was a network of tunnels and houses that brought 19th century slaves from plantations in the South to a new life of freedom in the North all the way to Canada. A specific stop on the Underground Railroad was the house of Elizabeth Buffum Chase. Buffum was a Quaker woman who for her entire life not only fought for women's rights but the rights of African Americans as well. She opened 
her home to let slaves' families rest on their journey, knowing the great risk to herself and her family. Her home was unfortunately torn down and turned into a factory that is now located on the corner of Hunt Street and Broad Street in Central Falls, Rhode Island. While she held slaves and hosted important abolitionist leaders, she wrote multiple letters to significant persons, encouraged them to help abolish slavery. Buffum's house is an example of what happens when important historical sites are not preserved. This is why the Central Falls Historical Appreciation Committee has come together to help preserve the current sites that are still standing today.